friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing my Shop My Stash for the month of April slash May because I have needed some time to go through some of the products and I think this month will be no exception because this is going to be a declutter Shop My Stash. A lot of times when I've been doing my Shop My Stashes they've been like, mm, I may get rid of this or Ooh, this reminds me of that. This month is kind of special and kind of obnoxious for me because what I'm going to be doing is I've pulled out so many makeup pieces that I am just not loving. I don't reach for and if anything, I'm wondering if all of this is going to be gone by the time I do my update or when I do my update. So let's get into the products that are on the chopping block for this next Shop My Stash month. I I'm gonna say about 80% of what I have in front of me is either BoxyCharm items or Ipsy items or just things that I got inexpensively that I really loved at one point and now I'm just kinda like, I either have something like that in my collection or I don't use you as much as I hoped I would or as I used to. So some of this may not be shocking to you as I pull them out. Some of the things you may be like, wait, you loved that like a year ago. I, I know, but you know, things change. I have four eyeshadow palettes in front of me and some face palettes as well. And this is gonna be so hard for me because I do like a lot of these pieces, but I don't use them all the time. And they just kind of are things that aren't inspiring me. They're not sparking joy, so. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is a foundation. This is not a subscription item, but this is something from a brand that I adore and it's inexpensive and I love their concealer. This is the ColourPop No Filter Foundation. This was so exciting when it came out, but then so many of us decided it just doesn't work for us. It's not our favorite. We don't really like it much. And I've even said in some past videos, I'll finish it up. Well, um, it's months and months later and I've not touched this once, so I need to put this in my declutter shop my stash to decide am I going to at least try to finish this up at all or should I just declutter it? This shade that I have here is medium 90 and I feel like it's very yellowy and I, I just don't ever reach for it, especially now that I'm kind of transitioning how I like to wear makeup in my new environment here in Florida, so stay tuned, but this may be the first thing to go. Product that I'm actually excited to delve back into to decide if I still like it, but I haven't reached for it in probably uh, seven months, maybe, is this Brow Gal by Tanya Crooks Eyebrow Trio. I have not reached for this in so long, and it's not because it's a bad product, it's just not how I do my brows, and I don't even think to pull this out, even when I'm like, ooh, this pencil I'm trying is patchy, let me pull this out, I never think that. So I'm actually putting this in my Shop My Stash Declutter series to see, do I like it more than I remember? Like, I remember liking it, but do I like it enough that I'm actually going to use it, or is this just holding up space in my eyebrow drawer over here, in the little space I have for it? Let's find out. Again, this isn't bad. I do like this brand a lot and I thought the I thought the powders were quality. I just have not reached for them in so long that I'm like Let's find out. It is festival season and by theory I should have pulled this out by now. It even would have looked good with this crazy fun look I have going today. But I have not pulled this out once since Halloween. I actually used this at Halloween. This is my Cover FX Shimmer Veil in the shade Amethyst. Yeah, Amethyst. It's this purple iridescent-y like top coat. You can wear it on your lips, you can wear it on your eyes, you can wear it on your cheeks, you can wear it wherever. But it just sits on top of my vanity in one of my little caddies and I don't ever touch it. I even recognize it. I'll look at it and be like, mm, this could be fun for this look and then I still don't touch it. So I need to make it my mission to actually try it or figure out if I just need to declutter it. What's aggravating about this is that it's actually pretty good and I do like it. I just don't ever think to wear it and it is kind of crunchy after a while. I have noticed that of wear time so let's see if this makes it through the cut now this is a product I'm gonna make myself use this is a drugstore item that I really liked two summers ago for just taking care of my under eye like dark circles and then hardly putting on any foundation and going because it was that good of a product that it helped conceal some ish on my face but this is the wet n wild coverall Co correcting palette I have not touched this probably since last summer and I don't remember ever reaching for it more than once or twice. So I need to rediscover, is this still good for my skin or not? Honestly, I remember liking, um, I think it was the green and the yellow 
for concealing underneath my eyes and then I had some pigmentation issues um but I've not touched it in forever so let's see if I even need to reach for it more than once or twice to figure that out. It's still really creamy. I'm kind of surprised because this is, you know, not very new. This next product is a BoxyCharm item that was a this or that situation and I was so excited to actually get this version of a BoxyCharm item because I always want an eyeshadow palette to try. But this one is really uninspiring for me. It's kind of patchy and kind of stains my lids. It is the Crown Pro eyeshadow palette that is, I think, being compared a lot online to some of the like Urban Decay fiery palettes, the Naked Heat palettes, stuff like that. But this one's just like the one that's not as good. I remember like pulling out some looks and enjoying it last summer, I think. But I do not touch this. I haven't touched this in a long time. And I think it's because the colors that I like out of here, I already have in palettes that I actually really, really enjoy and reach for. So I need to rediscover this formula and decide, is this something that I want to keep in my eyeshadow palette drawer? Because the hard part for me is that my eyeshadow palette drawer is insane. I'm going to have to do an updated eyeshadow palette drawer or something so you understand what I'm going through. Because again, I've got four palettes in this next shot, my stash. And I just said that I was not going to do more eyeshadow palettes this month to make my life easier. Year, but there's so many that I'm kind of like I don't reach for you should I just get rid of you another one that kind of hurts my heart because this wasn't a faves video for me last summer and it's an amazing drugstore brand that's one of my favorites it is the wet and wild not a basic peach palette and this is a great palette for so many things if you need a good palette on a budget but being said I have all of these colors in about 27 zillion other palettes in my drawer so this one that's kind of small just keeps getting pushed around and I reach for the other palettes more than this one um, and this top transition shade is always crazy powdery and it's always kind of messy and dusty all over my beauty space <laughs> so I'm gonna have to decide do I want to keep this or can I find other things in my collection that just kind of outperform it even though this is good did you just say something Penny I was on a roll now the next product that I'm gonna be talking about is not a shock to many of you that it would be an a declutter potential video but it's kind of interesting how quickly it's happening because I like to give things way longer in my beauty space to figure out if it really does deserve a home here but this one was so lackluster and it's I'm, I'm my, my palette drawer is insane I keep saying it because it's true this is the morphe dreaded 15 D palette that I love an orange shade. I mean, so many of you guys know if I can't make an orange palette work, there's a problem with it. I just found a lot of these to be dusty, to not blend well, to disappear on my eyes. I honestly don't even know how much I'm going to enjoy revisiting this so quickly after just doing a, you know, update on this palette. But I need to figure out if I need to get rid of it because I mean it's not a small I mean it's not a small palette but it's not a big palette. It's, it's taking up some space though. And as I was decluttering and kind of going through the other day, I was like, this is not something that is bringing me joy. It's just not. So I'm I'm almost certain this isn't going to be making it. But I mean I could surprise myself. Maybe there's some shadows in here I haven't tried. Still don't think that's going to matter. But whatever. Not to kick Morphe in the teeth while they're down, but this bronzer that I got from my Ipsy bag kind of sucks. This is the Enemy Bronzer, and I had never tried one of their bronzers, so I was pretty excited about it. This shade, I think, is the biggest issue. It's, like, so warm red toned, and I've said before, I like a good red tone, but this one doesn't look good on my skin, and I wonder if it's because I just need to work with it some more or try different brushes, maybe a different technique. I don't know yet because, like I said, I like some red toned bronzers like I have a physician's formula one that I love this one right here is the sun-kissed bronzer that has a red undertone that I really like and I think it looks great on my skin in the summer but even just swatch comparing them now like over here is the morphe and over here is the physician's formula and this just might be too deep for my skin tone morphe just may not cut it for what my skin can actually do so I guess we're gonna find out again I'm so wondering because I'm not gonna like reaching for these since they're all on the chopping block so I'm just curious how long I'm even gonna try to attempt this one before I'm like I am done committing bad makeup days to this four more items to get through and uh three of them are boxy charm items so let's just get into it i was so happy to get this variation of a boxy charm this was like a year ago that we got one of two options either an empty palette that i'm figuring out i probably could have used now or this naked cosmetics face 
highlight palette that has so many fun festival colors. Kind of like this cover effects here. This is when I should be pulling all of these out and really enjoying them. It's spring. These are pastels and fun. And these are good. I, when I do reach for them, they're nice. But the size of this is really obnoxious in my drawer because my actual highlight collection is pretty intense for living in a tiny house and having such a small committed space to highlighters. This is just, just too big to fit in my drawer. So I have to keep moving it around or laying it down and then I forget about it. Out of sight, out of mind. You know what I mean? So I know that these are actually quality. So I either need to decide these are so quality that I don't care. They don't fit perfectly in the drawer. I just have to deal with it. Or I need to find this home. Let's find out. I'm kind of feeling guilty about this one because I do like it. This one's going to hurt a little bit, especially if you've been watching my videos for a while. This is the Pure Face Trio. And I rediscovered this, I think, towards the end of last year because I was like, guys, I forgot how much I loved it. I recently got a secondary highlighter from Ipsy that's this exact shade from Pure, so I know I'm going to be decluttering that in a different video slash different time. But I fell in love with the bronzer as a body bronzer when it was deadly, like winter would not end last year year. I reached for this a ton for like a faux glow and I liked the blush okay and the highlighter was pretty nice too. It was just this guy. It was the misfit. No one knew what to do with it and then I was like oh a body bronzer amazing and I really enjoyed it for that. There's such a big dip into this. I don't even know if you can tell on camera that there's less product of this than there is anything else in here. Then I moved to Florida and I don't need to do that anymore. Uh, and these two aren't like my top highlighters or my top blushes. I've got some other things in my drawer that are superior. So I need to rediscover if this is worth holding on to or if it is time to pass it on, declutter it. I feel guilty about this one too, to be honest. All right, I love this brand. I recently did a video on a new palette that I got from them. And this is one of the last eyeshadow palettes I'm talking about today. And it's not that it's bad. It's that I don't reach for all matte looks. And this is an all matte palette from BH Cosmetics. Cosmetics. This is the Modern Matte 28 Color Eyeshadow Palette, and it has a lot of neutral, like, brownish, taupeish shades, and then we've got some pops of blue down here. I think the last time I really reached for this, like, and was excited to use it was for a colorful look, but now that I have so many other things in my collection, the Jeffree Star Palette, the other BH Cosmetics Palette, my Alamar Palette, I've got a lot of things that compete and beat this every time. And to be honest, I don't ever reach for all mattes. I always want some kind of shimmer either on the inner, inner corner, under the brow, on the eyelid on the on the lid right here and this just doesn't seem to come to the surface ever it's always at the bottom of my eyeshadow palette drawer I just feel like I don't give this enough love and I've started making a lot of new friends here in Florida that are starting their makeup collection and how nice is it for them that I have an excess of makeup that hasn't been touched in a long time I actually also bought this palette which is like a plastic sturdy case because when I first started my YouTube channel I didn't have a lot of makeup to review except for my BoxyCharm items and I found this on like Amazon for really cheap and I thought oh my gosh look at all these colors I can make all kinds of fun looks at Halloween and all kinds of things with it. It's true I did use it it served its purpose so it might be time to pass it on we're gonna find out. And the last product is a lippy that I have forgotten if I even like it I remember liking some other things from this brand I got this from BoxyCharm or Ipsy I'm not sure which. This is the Lartsy Cosmetics Tidal Lippy. I think this is a matte lipstick but honestly I have forgotten all about it. Ooh, and it applies patchy. Okay, there we go. Um, it's got this really berry shade. Kind of a suntan lotion smell to it is how I would describe it. And I don't really remember if I like this or not, but I have so many colors in this shade that when I keep swatching and it's only okay, I'm like, I need to figure out if I even want to use this. And I think I've decided I do have an upcoming declutter video for BoxyCharm and Ipsy coming up really soon on just things that are hoarding real estate in my beauty space. And that's why I'm kind of doing this video to figure out, give these items one last shot. You've got one last chance to prove that you are worthy to stay in my tiny beauty space. Cause I don't have room for everything and still take on more every single month. You know what I mean? I just don't have room for it. And if this stuff isn't bringing me joy, sometimes you gotta go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am going to be testing a lot of makeup over the next month to see if it's going to stay in my beauty space or if it is time to say bye-bye. Stay tuned for an upcoming declutter video as well because as I was going through some stuff, I'm like, I don't need this. I don't use this. So-and-so would love this more than me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button if you have not yet. And if you are new to my channel, I hope you enjoy these fun, loud, weird, unique videos I do every Every single week. I hope you hit that bell so you don't miss any uploads and I will see you in the next one. Bye friends!